My name is Gianfranco Moreno from the EFWA team and I want to show um, a simple and quick user guide or video guide on how to uh, work with branches, uh, repositories and forks and permissions for uh, for Bitbucket. So this is our main project, our main project is called Effort. Once we go into the uh, Effort uh, project, we're going to see the different uh, repositories that we have. And these icons uh, mean that these are our main repository. So we have one, two, three, and four main repositories. Uh, this different icons uh, means that these are forks from these repositories. So for the effort PWA, uh, repository we have one two three and four different forks and for the effort uh, database repository we have one two three and four repositories four forks sorry when we go inside the the the, the repository what we're going to see is the, the the master branch so these are the branches for the FRPWA, we have three different branches created master, release production, and release development. <clears throat> if we want to see uh, the different commits that these branches have had, we're going to go into commits. And from commits, we're going to see the different uh, commits that have been happening for this master branch. And if we want to go and see another branch, we just click here and then we pick another one. So these are for release production, and these ones are for release development. If we want to create another branch, what we do is we pick the base branch. Uh, let's say, for example, we want to create a feature development uh, branch. So we're going to pick release development, and then we're going to click here, and we're going to select create branch from here. So we're going to pick the branch type to be a feature and we're going to name it development. So from release development, we're going to create another branch named feature development. We're going to click create branch and now we're going to have our feature development. It's going to inherit all the previous commits that happened in the root branch, which was uh, release development. See, everything is the same. So if I click another branch, it has different commits. So the the contents of that of this branch are completely different than release development. But since we created feature development from release development, feature development and release development should have, at least until now, the same content. <clears throat> so <clears throat> if we want to see the different branches for the project, we're going to click here, branches, and we're going to see all the different branches, starting from the default branch, which is the master, and then the actual the pick branch here, which is the base branch. And what it's going to show, it's going to show a difference between commits. So for example, release development is Two commits ahead and 185 commits behind feature development. And the master branch is one commit ahead and 185 commits behind feature development. <clears throat> now we're going to go into forks. What are forks? Forks are like uh, sub branches from a specific branch. What is the difference between a fork and a branch? The fork, it's on the same, all branches are on the same root, meaning that even though this is a master and feature development was created from release development, we can merge between master, release production, feature development, and release development. We can, feature, we can merge between all of them. But what's the difference between a fork? A fork is a branch from a branch. So if I want to if, if create a fork, 
is like creating a sub repository from a branch. So we're not going to be able to see the, that that or commit or merge between forks of different branches because they are kind of they're going to be treated as different uh, projects. So I'm going to create a fork as an example. I'm going to pick the project and where it says where would you like the fork to this repository into and i'm gonna need a name i'm gonna name it test and what is enabled fork syncing that means that the forks are gonna get synced automatically from their 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 top branch that means that if the feature development branch in which uh I'm going to be syncing this. It's going to be automatically getting the changes that that head branch is going to get from other branches. It's specifically saying here, keep branches and tags automatically in sync with effort, effort PWA. And I'm going to create a fork from there. So I'm just going to cancel it. And I'm going to go into feature development. And from here, I'm going to create a fork. Just to be sure. And now we have FRPWA test. And it, had, it has all the branches, all the different branches that were already on the, on the master branch that belongs to that fork. So can you like you see I just have all the commits copied, all the branches copied, but no forks. Why no forks? Because the forks are not inherited. So if I go to the root, I'm gonna see that the FRPW it has another fork. I can create a fork from a fork, yes, and we're gonna do that now. So I'm going to click this one, I'm going to create a fork, and I'm going to call it test. So now you see, we're getting everything that was, it, it's like an actual, it's, it's like cloning a branch and creating a sub branch from that specific one. So if I go to the source, you're going to see that we're going to have F for PWA for EFWA test here, but this is not really a fork from this one. It's actually a fork from this one. So if we go in and we click forks, we're going to see it here. And we actually have two forks from that uh, main fork. Let's call it like that. So what do we need to work with uh, branches? and forks and it's very important for us to do we need permissions we need to assign permissions so we're going to click repository settings and then repository permissions and we're going to see everybody that has access to that specific fork and then we can create also branch permissions which is a good idea that way, uh, everything gets handled by an administrator and all the commits and merges happen based on pool requests, which we didn't do for, for this project, which was kind of chaotic. So we have uh, three admins and then we have a group that has access to this repository and then a specific user that also has read and write access to this repository. So if we click another project, we're going to see different permissions. So for this repository, the main one, only these three users have access. 
the rest of the users don't have access at all to this main repository. So it, when they go into, B, into Visual Studio or any IDE and they go uh, and then try to clone a project, they're not going to be able to see this main one. So that is very important to assign the proper uh, repositories uh, permissions and also branches permissions. We can create uh, also uh, a branch model. We can create hooks. We can integrate it with HipChat. And I think we can also create like merge strategies and merge checks, which we didn't use for this project. So you're going to see that we have four forks for the main uh, PWA project. And we also have two forks or sub forks from the F for PWA for EFWA fork. So we can create like this many different forks, and the the, the difference is that each fork with with which each fork is gonna also have different features. So uh, what would be very important for the next? Uh, semester or for the future. What we did this time was create just a repository and then we created features, sorry, branches, and then we created one fork per team. It was not a good idea. And I'm going to explain on the next video how we should do it in the future. Thank you.